You don't need that. So you had your 11 months, 11 years. At 12 months is a hurdy, 132 months. 15% off is 19.8 months. That equates to, you've dropped now from 11 years to 9.35 years, more or less. Now you have 11.2 months right here. You go into the first step back. So first step back allows you to earn time credits. It allows you to work your way to reduce your criminogenic tendencies incrementally over time. And the persons that decide if you're doing this are your stakeholders who are currently your case manager, unit team, and the warden. And so they are going to offer you programs to take. So as someone who comes in with the academic credentials that Elizabeth has, they may tell you, offer you a program to balance your checkbook, teach you how to balance your checkbook. Well, don't roll your eyes. Say thank you. Be very humble. It's going to be hard. Believe me. Say thank you and take the program. But there's a caveat. As soon as you get in the prison and you're able to move around the compound and you get in front of a TrueLink's computer and you have your PAC number and your Bureau of Prison ID number, look, don't call, email home. Take the time. Find the assessment survey for you with your name on it and take it. Because if you don't take the survey and your case manager offers you a program to take, your survey or your 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 risk your your program your first step back program and you haven't taken the survey you can take the programs you can take a lot of the programs but you, you will not be earning earn time credits by the end of the month and so don't get upset if you when you look at your computation sheets and it shows zero earn time credits because you will not earn the credits until you take the survey. So be forewarned, take the survey right away. Don't forget. And then how earn time credits functions according to the program statements from the Federal Bureau of Prisons is that you're, you have to go through two assessments. First assessment, you're gonna take it with the computer and then with the uh, case manager within the first 30 days. Second assessments within six months. And then right at that point, after that assessment, the next assessment, you should be jumping from 10 credits a month to 15. Just an FYI. Now we're going to go on here. So now, hypothetically speaking, approximately, you can earn... 12 months off your sentence after two years. So for every six months, um, for every year, you can earn six months worth of credit. So after two years, you can earn another 12 months, which drops you from 112.2 to 100.2 months, or instead of 9.35 years, 8.35 years after two years, okay? But there's more to earning first step back credits because you want to continue to take those credits because it'll give you more time in a halfway house. But it's going to earn you more time in a towards early release. In other words, initially, you're going to be able to get this is going to give you more time off the sentence. This now extra above that is going to give you more time in a halfway house. But before they let you take these programs, Elizabeth Holmes has financial penalty from the court order, a lot of big financial penalty. So there's a financial responsibility program that she has to participate with. And that financial responsibility program says that if she's going to be taking in, let's say $1,000 a month to her commissary account, she should offer 
right away to pay. Ask the case manager, can I offer you $200 a month? I think I'll be taking $1,000 or so a month in. How about if can we do $200 a month? Or if she's going to be taking in several hundred dollars a month, can I pay $25 a month, $75 a quarter, something like that? But you have to pay something. If you refuse, well, then they may not offer you earned time credits. 